Yo guys, what's up? It's Kento from The Realm Geek, and today I'm showing you guys how to do player respawn events and player death events. So let's get into it. Starting off, what we're going to be first doing is setting the uh, death message and adding to some stuff. And for the respawn event, we will be setting their game entry spectator and sending them a message that says you are now a spectator. So let's get into it. In our events package, right click new and call this one, um, uh, let's do death and respawns. Let's just handle both of those in one. List, uh, pub, or er, implement, sorry. Listener. And before we go any further, let's register that event before we forget. So in our main class, bucket dot get server dot get plugin manager. Oh, goodness, sorry about that. Get plugin manager dot register events. Um, new and then deaths and respawns and in arg1 do this import deaths and respawns and you're good in here we're going to first do the death event so at event handler public void uh, on death player death oop, player death event e now what we're going to do is import those player p equals e dot get entity and now import player and you're good after this is done we're going to set e dot or sorry now what we're going to do sorry <laughs> is go up here and say location respawn location or rsl equals bucket dot get world and then i'll just put in world because that's the default world name and then dot get spawn location that's just a placeholder we'll be replacing that soon so now what we're going to do is say rsl equals p.getLocation. That'll make our lives a whole bunch easier when we set them to spectator mode in the respawn event. So yeah, now we can e.set death message uh, chat color dot red plus p.get name plus has died a horrible uh, bad mean horrible again death and now what we can do is e uh, p dot send message uh, chat color dot red plus if you didn't know you have died <laughs> just gotta add that little push all right so now what happens if we right click export this and if I do right click three oops Yep, like that. And then game mode zero. I just happen to have this big long hole. That if you fall down it, you magically, you have died. Kento has died with loads of items. Sorry, I forgot to reload the server. Hold on. <laughs> I reload the server. And after we get back up here, let's game mode one. And once I get back up here, sorry about that. It's for my previous load of testing. Game mode zero, drop down here. And you can see... If you didn't know, you have died. Kento died a horrible, bad, mean, horrible death. So yeah, that was that. So now let's get into respawn events. At event handler. Let me turn down this volume for you guys. Oh, let me game mode one. Oh, game mode one. And go music all the way down. Alright, so now at event handler, public void on respawn. Player respawn event E. Oop, <laughs> if I could do that in the right way. Um, player p equals e dot get player, import player and such, and now e dot set respawn location to rsl. That'll make them respawn exactly where they died. And now we're going to set their p dot set game mode to game mode dot uh, spectator, and then p dot send message chat. Color dot green plus you have become a spectator. So that's just a really easy spectator script if you want uh, to add spectation to your game modes or something. So now, if we re <coughs> sorry about that. If we reload now and do game mode zero, we drop down here. Kachow, you have died. Blah 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 blah, and boom, you have become a spectator. So that was it. Uh, from Kento or the Realm of the Geek. 
Uh, and make sure, I'm going to be leaking this to those who uh, follow all the way to the end. Go to therotg.com for a brand new website, and please report any errors that you find to uh, contact at therotg.com. If you didn't know, the ROTG is the Realm of the Geek. So yeah, this has been Kento from the Realm of the Geek, and I'll see you all tomorrow. I hope you check out the website. Uh, yeah, see ya.